with a charity linked to York City Football Club. We do a whole host of different work within the community. Our key aim is to use um, sport, particularly football, as a vehicle for change and to make a difference and an impact within our community. So our community sponsors are Bennenden Health. We run a project with them each year as a school's outreach project, uh, which launched this year in September. We've done a whole host of different subjects over the last five, six years from uh, sugar-free, healthy eating, anti-bullying. Uh, last year was eat, sleep, train, repeat. And this year is all centered around young people's mental health and resilience. And this is about trying to get young people to understand their health, both poor and uh, good uh, health, physical and mental, and how they cope with that and breed resilience ready for later life. So the young people have got both an individual and a class challenge. So the individual challenge is they've got these fantastic good deed diaries um, where they'll be taking them away, um, very much looking at that altruistic feeling, doing a good deed does you good. Um, so going home into their communities um, for two weeks recording good deeds, um, anything from uh, holding the door open for somebody, making mum a cup of tea, perhaps visiting granny, walking the dog, clearing their own bedrooms, all those little things that they can record and how that makes them feel good over that time. Um, and then from there um, we're looking at them as a class to actually do a class challenge and so the class challenge will be finding some innovative way of feeding back around either the number of good deeds they've done or a particular good deed. The end goal really is that um, this this is, is getting into the, the hearts and minds of those young people. It, it, as I said it's giving them an understanding about mental and physical health, it's giving them understanding about how to cope with that um, and how to be more resilient, there's more and more pressures on young people at a younger age and how they cope with that.